Right, Penny Boy? A oh, little Penny Boy. How you doing? I know we're recording. Oh, look at that box. Oh, we got a red box. That's fantastic. So the new Panasonic G9 firmware 2.4 is upon us. We'll test it out today, and there's a bunch of announcements, lame ones, terrible ones. From Olympus, we discuss those, debunk them, and then compare the autofocus versus the Canon EOS R. Is this now dual pixel autofocus like in its abilities? It better be. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So we're on the Panasonic G9 latest firmware, Olympus 12 mm Tony 2. I'll switch to the Panasonic Leica 15 mm 1.7 later, just in case you're about to say, oh, the Olympus lenses don't have depth from D loser technology in them. That's a good thing. It's a benefit. There's flowers. The Panasonic colors. We have an ND filter on, ND64 from Gobi. It was $7. That doesn't cheapen the image. What the hell? So pay attention to the autofocus today. Does it lose me? Is it pulsing into the background a lot? Is it annoying you? In our first discussion today, Olympus, they released what I can only describe as if a caveman's child vomited on his dumber brother's foot and then the shaking of the foot spilled onto a frog the frog told a neighbor to invent a camera and that neighbor in his cave that's crumbling invented one it's worse than a phone they took a step back olympus we think you're out of business prove us wrong don't release something worse than everything you have for more money. It's expensive for a piece of shit. It's light. I like that. It's probably the best thing ever made, but on paper, it sucks. But all Olympus cameras do. And then they shock you with their much more reliable color signs than whatever Panasonic's doing. But Panasonic autofocus is now making Sony jealous, isn't it? Usability and autofocus? Well, aren't we lucky? You know, I've been debating. What would be the best wildlife camera? It should be Micro Four Thirds because they're so light and Panasonic. They have animal detect autofocus. Is it going to actually do something though? I will test it. My buddy's coming down one day. We'll get that 100 to 400 again. I'll do a whole show on it. We'll see if that can be done, but I don't know. I'm feeling like the Canon R5 with the 600 mil, a little lighter than the 800 would be better. Slightly more expensive. A couple coins on the tip jar. And you'll get it. So the Olympus EP, EP7 or something, what is that? E penis? I don't need one. Do you have a link? I don't want one. I don't even, what? So that camera is basically just punishment in and of itself. Just existing is the punishment. It's not even worth mentioning, but it exists now. Something light and shit. Something not so light. Eight to 25, Tony four. Now let's be real. That's a Tony eight equivalent. And we can do that. Tony 8. Here's the magic. This is worth carrying over your sister's GoPro 3. Your sister has worms. Did you catch that? Some white fluff fell up. Oh, there's a garbage truck. Oh, we're still at Tony 8. Oh, God. Now, don't get me wrong here. If you're a landscape hobotographer, you woke up at 2 a.m., poured coffee in your oatmeal, your frickin' oats, with your cacao nibs, you hippie trick, and you went out to a frickin' mountain. Oh, Helen, wake up, Helen, look, there's an eagle. He's on top of a lion. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It's perfect. 
Oh no, I, my backpack is in the shot. I'm gonna go get it and then take the shot again. Oh, the lion, oh, ah! Bowser. <coughs> so landscapers, what do they stop down to? Like Tony eight on purpose? Everything's in the shot, it's like, okay. You now have an amazing zoom range, 16 to 50. I don't think anything like that even exists. Panasonic tried 20 to something, 50, it's less. Let's switch over to the Leica, just cause I bet this whole thing looked like absolute trash. With that ND filter, it's $7. They planted trees for me though. Take that, I improved nature while looking like shit. Let's switch. Wow. Oh, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. It was a little slow to acquire, but once it gets you, it locks onto you. Take that dual pixel loser focus. So I get the lens for landscape photos. You don't need a super bright aperture, super long zoom range, pretty light for a landscaper, I guess. They're hauling bears back to their camp. Whatever they do out there in the woods stays in the woods. That's all I know. But for me, I'm looking for like, oh, the ultimate vlogging solution. It's a little too heavy. 411 grams. Light for what it is. Too heavy for Micro Four Thirds Tony 8 Tonyatures. He's on a bike. His ton of them. You'll never know where his bike came from. I hope he's safe and has planned out his lunch as he disappears into the distance. Oh no, my wrinkles. I want the lens, but it's not gonna look right. Even this lens, too much tone, 1.7 admittedly. Even this, 15 mil, 30 equiv, Tony 8 is what it would be. Or should it have, I see it now. I see the error of my ways. It should have been Tony 4. Why am I thinking this is full frame? I'm not good at my job and that hurts. That's punishment in and of itself. Tony 4. You might be able to get away with it on this focal length as I have just shown, but I don't want to. I saw like a, a squeeze. I don't know that it's a pulse. I never do this on any other camera system. Why do I always put Penny in the worst situations? I don't know. It's fun. It's fun to do. I love that red box. At least we know now. It was actually pretty hard to see on the G9. It's only like some dark red thing on the box. Thing on the box. The, the Tony tales of our lives. Where will he go? Will he get there safely? That's all I care about. So I don't know, I'm a little worried about Olympus. Like well, there's rumors that they're gonna release something fantastic. A new EM14, something fan beautiful. But so far it's been like an audio recorder. And then these things, these freakish things, tiny piece of crap and a big piece of crap. Put them both with each other, you got a stupid combo. All right, let's find somewhere to put you and the Canon EOS R next to each other and see if G9 is now dual pixel autofocus. It'll probably outperform the Canon, guaranteed. So there's a park. Not seeing a lot of ledges. Oh, hi there. Didn't even see you. Name's Humphrey Pickle Juice. Nice to meet you. We good? Are we seeing one of you is better looking or pleasing to the cinematic eye? I would hope not. That would really suck. All right, let's do it. Penny boy, G9, you're right, USR. Similar focal lengths.
won that battle. It felt like the EOS R was slower in certain areas, but was it smoother? The speed doesn't matter so much. It's like aquasize me slow. I don't mind it. Aquasize. It's the pulsing and the hunting to the background and losing you completely for a bit. And I like confidence. If you get there a little slow, that's fine. Just stay on me. Fuji was fantastic in its... I'm not ruining that video. <laughs> what? what are you talking about? I didn't make a video. I never would do that. I have a video coming with the X-T4 versus the EOS R. And I actually preferred... I don't know what happened to the Fuji. It was so red looking. And then the EOS R comes into the shot. I'm like, wow. Oh, man. I might buy one. Sell the Fuji. Whoa. That's what Flatter Santa wanted for me. He always wanted, his best wishes were for me to get rid of the Fuji. He begged me to get rid of it from day one. So I might, I doubt it, but I, I, I might pounce. Thank you Camera Canada, by the way, for lending me the EOS R. Let's all go to Camera Canada tonight. Are they? Oh, look at, I didn't even realize they were back there so close. Why not just go? Perfect. This is so, <laughs> I'm so well lit and then you can see me walking into Camera Canada. What's that? Oh no, they're coming. Anytime. I have time. Just make sure you get it when you do. Take your time, but then, eh, there we are. I don't mind. I'm at a college. Instead of going to college, I make videos in the parking lot. It's just as good. This is where this lens struggles. Super white sky. Or does it? But not any longer with firmware 2.4. Just don't do it. Why challenge the camera? Oh, that's white too. You're racist, Penny boy. So how did the firmware perform today? I haven't seen the footage yet, but my guess is it's slightly more reliable, but still very quirky. It just loses you sometimes. But if it kept me most of the time, that's, it could be a vloggable situation. 180 frames per second slow-mo, I don't mind it. I can see that I'm recording. We didn't get the mic volume down limiter. That would have been nice. I'm doing external audio. It clips at minus 12. That's like this new fancy thing to go to minus 20. It requires less power. And I have to buy like the Panasonic S5 for that. So, we've done it. I'm gonna leave after you buy a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.